that obviously that's an example but and, and to that example, that's kind of an interesting example, Paul, because, you know, 10 years ago when the platform was much less mature and much less saturated, people were using those kind of headlines and actually they were, they were probably working because it was novel and people were receptive to communication from people by on LinkedIn because it it's, all, it's all kind of exciting and organic and growing from, you know, it was the new business platform. Um, but now, of course, it's much more saturated. And, and this, again, it leans into some of the points that we've already talked about in terms of psychology and the mindset of our audiences. If you write things like I help or helping in the front of your professional headline, somebody who's receiving a message is going to know instantly that you're going to sell to them. And, you know, it's the best way of putting people off. And I think yeah. we need to spend more time in the minds of our, it's a, it's an age old cliche. We, you know, we've been talking about it in marketing for long before I was born, uh, but it's a, it's so important that we we focus on and get to understand the psychology and the mindset of our audiences so that we can actually engage with them in a way that's perhaps just going to get a few more interested than, like you say, the other people who are doing the same thing and just spurting or, information all over the or place. Or alternatively, it's going to put people off because that's the other thing that people are afraid to do, put people off. 